Hi everyone, welcome to the tenth episode. I hope you all are doing great so far in this series. So in this video, we'll be covering the subset two problem. It is a very interesting problem. We have already seen the subset one problem in episode number seven. So if you haven't watched it, make sure that you do. So we will be covering subset two. What's the difference in subset one and subset two? So if you will go through the problem statement, let me explain you where the difference is. So in this problem, we will be given duplicate elements. Earlier we were given the unique elements. All the elements were distinct. Okay. So let's say if there are three distinct elements, then how many total subsets are going to be there? Two raised to the power three, which is equal to eight. All right. But uh, when there are repeating elements, then the number of unique subsets reduces. For example, uh, let us take one, two, two. Okay. So one. Two, two. This is the example. This is the array which is given to me. There are three elements into this. So if they were unique, we would have generate two raised to the power three, which is equal to eight subsets. But now we will see that the number of unique subsets are going to get reduced. Okay. So I am using the same strategy. I am using the same recursion tree which I used in the episode number seven. Okay. So in that we had a variable i, the pointer i. Okay. Initially it was zero. Initially, i was equal to zero. So when i is equal to zero, we are basically talking about this one. Okay. So for this element, we have two options. One option is to take it. One option is to ignore it. Okay. So on the left hand side, we will take it. It will be uh, one in the subset. On the right hand side, we will ignore it. The subset will be empty. Okay. Let me put it inside brackets. All right. I was zero here. Now at this place we are talking about i is equal to one. Okay, when i is equal to one, we are talking about this two. Now there are again two options: one to consider it in, second to ignore it. So on the left hand side, we are going to consider it in. One comma two is going to be there in our subset. On the right hand side, we will ignore it. So only one will be there in the subset. Here it is already empty. So if we take two. Two will be there in the subset, <clears throat> and if we ignore two, it was already empty. And if we are ignoring two as well, it will still be empty. Okay. Now i is equal to two. When i is equal to two, we are talking about this two. And here, uh, again, on this side, first of all, we will consider two. So one comma two comma two. Then we will ignore this one comma two. Here also we will take it in so one comma two then we will ignore it it will be one here also two options one to consider it in two comma two other to ignore it simply two here also two options one to consider it in two and one to ignore this empty okay so we have generated eight subsets but we can see that there are not they are they are not all unique so one two is here one two is here these two are duplicate then double two okay. Then two and two. These two are again duplicate. So this subset, this subset duplicate. This subset, this subset is duplicate. So we need to generate the unique ones. In this problem, we need to generate the unique ones. Okay. So the process is going to remain same to generate subsets, but we will have to look very carefully where exactly are we going wrong. Okay. We need to identify that where exactly are we going wrong so that we don't go to that direction. So let's do one thing. Let's again try to construct this tree. Okay, let's again try to construct the same tree, and then we will try to identify that where exactly we are going wrong while constructing this. All right, let me quickly get rid of this as well. We have three elements. Let us again try to draw the recursion tree. Again, I will be starting with i is equal to zero. Okay, so here <clears throat> i is equal to zero. Basically, I am talking about this one. So either I can consider it in, or I can ignore it. So when I am considering it in, so it will be one. When I am ignoring it, it will be empty. The subset will be empty. Basically, I am starting with an empty, uh, empty array. Okay. Then here i is equal to two. Here i is equal to two. Okay. We are talking about this particular two. Again, we have two options: one to ignore it. Sorry, one to consider it in. Second option is to ignore it. Okay, so let us consider it in one comma two. Okay, uh, here actually i is not equal to two. I is equal to one here. I is equal to one here. 
i equal to 1 yes so here when we are ignoring it it will be still 1 okay let's again do the same thing i is equal to 2 here i is equal to 2 here let's again do the same thing for this particular 2 one option is to consider it in we will get 1 comma 2 comma 2 one option is to ignore it we will get 1 comma 2 here also one option is to consider it in we will get 1 comma 2 and this is the problem you can see we have already generated 1 comma 2 over here and again we are trying to generate 1 comma 2 this is the problem why does this problem arise here so this problem is arising because in this particular step in this particular step when we are when our i is equal to 1 and we are talking about this particular 2 we are taking a decision that decision is to consider this particular 2 in our subset so we are going to this side or to ignore this 2 so we are going to this side okay so let us say if we are ignoring this 2 if we are ignoring this 2 which is at the index number 1 and we are going to this particular side then our subset will still contain only 1 right our subset will still contain only 1 now again when we arise to this particular 2 we have two options over here one option is to consider it in one option is to ignore it okay but we have already ignored a 2 in the past so there is no way i can consider this particular 2 in i should not consider this particular 2 in why because i have already ignored a 2 in the past okay and if i have ignored a 2 i should ignore it forever all right the decision which i made at this particular step when i was equal to 1 we were talking about this 2 i made a decision one decision was okay let us take this 2 okay we went to this side other decision was we will not take 2 we will not take 2 we went to this side and if we are going to the right side we are not taking this particular 2 we should not take any other 2 which is coming after this i should not take any other 2 as well all right so this is what we need to do okay this is what we need to do and how to correct it now let me show you how we can correct it <clears throat> so let us say let us again uh, rub this and uh, go to this particular step i am at i is equal to one and i am trying to ignore this two and if i am ignoring this two i should ignore all the twos which are ahead of this okay i should ignore all the all the twos so for that i will ignore the two i will still have one but my i will not be equal to 2 this time it will be equal to 3 so basically i need to skip i need to skip all the consecutive twos okay because i'm ignoring this two i need to skip all the twos which are ahead of this so i need to increment i till the point i'm still standing on two i, I should ignore i should skip all the twos i should keep incrementing i and i should pass the i is equal to 3 here all right so this is what i need to do this is the change that i need to make in the code i hope you remember lecture number seven okay if you don't please make sure that you watch that then only we will be able to proceed because i'm going to use the same code and i will make only a slight difference there only a slight change okay so every time we will not do i plus one sometimes when we are ignoring an element we should ignore all the occurrences of that element so i will increment i and then pass that to the recursion okay and then pass it to the recursion okay so let us go to the coding part let us try to see that how we can improve this this is the subset one problem that we solved in the episode number seven you can have a look here uh, this particular portion is to pick the particular element this particular portion is to skip the particular element but all the elements were unique so that's why we are just doing i plus one we know that uh, the next element let us say we are we are standing on i we are talking about i we are passing i plus one to recursion why are we doing that because we know that the elements are unique here okay we are not skipping the consecutive elements because because we know the elements are unique here so this was the subset one problem now let us copy the same code try to do this to the subset two over here so pasted the same code the only change which i need to make is instead of passing in, in the skip part let us say i'm skipping the ith element i should increment i till the point i have the same repeating element right so while uh, a r r of i is equal to equal to a r r of i plus one so basically while uh, we are while i'm having the same consecutive elements i will keep incrementing i plus plus but one more thing i need to make sure that this i is within the 
boundary right so this i actually i plus 1 should also be inside the boundary because we are accessing i plus 1 arr of i plus 1 so this should come before okay this should come over here so i plus 1 should be smaller than arr dot size then only we will be able to make this comparison i plus plus okay all right so uh, we are basically skipping all the elements which are equal to the ith element so then what do what will we pass here we will be passing i plus one okay we will be passing i plus one let me make a check over here so let us say let us again come back to the uh, board so let's say i have this one two two three okay this is i equal to one this was zero this was one this is two this is three so when we are at i is equal to one we are at this particular two and if we are ignoring this two we should ignore the next two as well okay next two as well so for that i'm incrementing i so uh, because i arr of i is equal to equal to arr of i plus one so that's why i need to increment the i i will be over here all right next time arr of i which is this is not equal to arr of i plus one that's why i will break out of the loop but my i will be pointing over here that's why i need to pass i plus one to the recursion to the next function call i need to pass i plus one all right so we have verified it i am passing i plus one it is correct and i think we are good to go but there's one more observation one more uh, very wonderful observation over here so sometimes uh, we saw the example that all the twos were together we had two number of twos and they were together uh, so all the elements which are uh, equal which are same are together but this is not always the case in the examples right so we need to sort it so if we sort the entire array all the same elements all the similar elements will come together all the twos will come together all the threes will come together and four will come together so we need to sort it before calling this function this is this is one of the thing okay so now let us call this function help uh, before that let me just sort the given array arr dot begin comma arr dot end done after the sort let me call this help passing i is equal to zero arr n then we have subset i will create subset then i have answer okay then i will return the answer i need to create the answer vector of vector vector of int answer and i need to create subset vector of int subset so yes i think this looks good they also want the answer the final answer to be sorted all the subsets uh, should be sorted so before returning the answer i i should also sort the answer sort answer dot begin comma answer <coughs> sorry answer dot end all right done let me run this we will try to debug it if there are okay if there are errors so the function sort is not defined i need to include the library hash include bits slash stdc plus plus dot h by the way all the codes are there in the description for all the programming language you will find the codes in the description okay so you don't have to worry about anything just learn the algorithm try to code it yourself in your own preferable language and if you are not able to code it you can refer the codes which are there in the description all right so this is it uh, the only change which we need to do is this one okay when we are skipping a particular element when we are skipping the ith element we should skip all the occurrences of that element all right that's why we are incrementing i we are not just passing i plus one because we know that there could be multiple similar elements ahead of the ith element right so we need to skip them all we are skipping them all so that's it this is it for the question uh, but to achieve it we obviously had to sort the given array yeah this is the only change other than that it is similar uh, now talking about the space complexity and time complexity so we have already discussed the space and time complexity in the lecture number seven here the time complexity in the worst case would still be the same because we will still have the same number of nodes in the tree okay the tree will expand exactly the same worst case will be what will be the worst case can you let me know in the comment section what will be the worst case 
Okay, let me answer this. It is kind of tricky. So the worst case is when we will having when we will be having all the elements are unique. That will be the worst case. We will have the complete tree, complete recursion tree. Maximum number of nodes will be there. That will be two raised to the power n. This is the worst case. Height will be equal to n, where n is the number of element. That will be the height. Okay, that much space, uh, that, that much extra space is required. Obviously, apart from storing the answer, we need to store the answer, right? Uh, the final answer which we are creating that is consuming a lot of space. But apart from that, if we talk about the recursion stack space, that will be big of um, that will be n. Okay. So I hope you are able to understand it. It was pretty much clear to you. Just in case if you have any doubt, first of all, uh, make the summary of every lecture that you are watching. Make a summary and comment down below. <clears throat> okay, this is a very important thing to do. Why? Because you will recap the entire lecture. You will be able to summarize it. That will make sure that you understood it nicely. And then put the summary in the comment section. That is really helpful for you as well in the future. Let's say if you come back again to the lecture, you will be able to see that. Yeah, these are the notes of the lecture. You will find them in the comment section. Okay, so make sure that you do this. Second thing, like the video consistently. Keep following the series and stay motivated. Let us meet in the next episode. Bye-bye. Take care.